Hi everyone. It's Angie again. Got a bonus video today. We are, I want to really try to get this Shabby Chic Vintage Journal done this weekend. So we are on to getting the inside cover decorated. We got the uh, floating spine done. Um, took a couple processes for that, but as you can see, we've got that in. It's secured. There's the underside. And that's why you call it a floating spine because you've got a little bit of play in there for when you open and close it. Okay, so that goes all the way through. Okay, so I thought we would get started on getting the inside cover decorated. And I've kind of gone back and forth if I want this black edging to show, and I think I do. I think it just kind of adds a little something laying against it. I think black and pink looks really good together anyway. So my thought was I would just put these images right down on the front and the back. I really love these ladies here. So I'm just going to adhere that down with some wet glue. And that will probably take a little bit of time to dry, but we'll try to do as much as we can without disturbing the gluing process and the drying process drying process should I say open up my glue here a little dried out on the tip okay and move this to the side a little bit and get this baby down and I'm going to be generous with the glue of course because we want it to stick down quickly have a little room to Adjust and set. I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit with my fingers so we don't have any bumps and ridges. So on and so forth. There we go. This off my finger here. Let me bring in a piece of scrap paper for my fingers. There we go. Okay, which is the top? That's the top. All this work, and then we put these on backwards. That would suck, wouldn't it? And I cut these to where they should just go right to the edge, pretty much. Get it straight. We got a minute to wiggle with that, and down we go. And I'm going to bring my scrape tool in if I can find her. There she is. And just give that a little press. Make sure that glue gets spread out evenly all around. Make sure the corners and the edges get down real nicely. And there we go. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty? I like it. Yes. Very much so. Very pretty. Okay, and while we're on this side, we will go ahead and do the crochet trim. I thought I'd do a strip of crochet trim right along the edge here. Just like that. that off right there and down with some more glue too generous with the glue but I want to make sure that baby is not going anywhere 
Once it dries, we'll be fine. But it's just kind of seeping through those holes a little bit temporarily. I want to put a little bit more down right there. It's getting good and tacky. Just give it a minute to adhere, and then we are going to So how is everybody doing today? I think I was so excited with the last couple ones, and I was getting trying to get this darn thing sewn and bound. I forgot to ask everybody, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing well today. I'm doing well. Had a nice birthday yesterday. Very nice day. Woke up to another wonderful day. Beautiful weather, nice and warm. And I was just really just so focused on trying to get this journal done with you guys because like I said I'm not going to be posting any videos um, most of next week so I want to get this project done with you guys and then when I come back um, from vacation I uh, want to get started on doing some ephemera tags tucks all that good stuff for my next journal um, so I got to just decide what that's going to be, if it's going to be, um, as we, as I shared with you on the last couple videos, I don't know which one I want to do, um, whether it be fall or forest themed. And I kind of look at those as kind of differently. They are kind of the same. Um, fall, I think of more like mushrooms and the colored leaves and the cheap trees, that kind of thing, still with some birds and insects and, um, that kind of thing going where when I think forest, I think still a lot of the trees and the colors and the different colors and changing, but I'm thinking the elk and the deer and the squirrels and the skunks and the bears and, you know, that kind of thing, you know, like along with hunting season. And I do have, I can show you while I'm talking about it. I think I have it right near, near me. Where is it? Yeah. I have this piece of, um, fabric. And I thought this would be perfect for a um, forest themed um, journal cover. It's got a lot of the uh, aspen trees and brown and green leaves. Can't really see too much of it. I don't want to open it up all the way, but um, you'll see more of it when we get started on that. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, I was thinking about using that. So. I just, I don't know. I have to make up my mind, but I have till next week to do so and put my thoughts together on that one. And then on the next one, I will go back to doing, um, sewing it in prior. I won't be doing a floating spine on that one. Not that it's, um, hard or anything. I just, just, I guess just easier. <laughs> I don't know. So I'll probably go back to that and then decorate it as we go along. So yeah. How's that? That's nice. I like that. And we can still do something to that as well. Okay, let's flip it over and let's do the other side. And let's just clip this to kind of get it out of my way. And bring in my other piece, identical image. Go on this side, move it over just a bit while I get it glued, get some glue down. So I think one of my 
followers was telling me they were working on a, I think they said like a baby shower, a baby journal for a family member. I wonder how that's coming along. I, um, I was asked one time, some time ago, to do a baby journal for a friend as a gift. Oh, geez, that's been some years. Oh, I had so much fun with that, just with all the pretty little. And it was for a girl, of course. And, um, yeah, I just, man, it just was bringing back some memories when she commented on my video. I had so much fun making that video, that uh, journal little rattles and just all the all the cuteness that comes with comes along with a baby and a newborn it was so fun sure get glue all the way up to that edge there okay let me double check right side up okay so we are going this way off and press that toward the middle press that down just glue off my fingertips here okay That worked in really well. Bring my scrape tool back in. That is down. Another piece of crochet trim on that inside piece. So let me measure that to right there. And another good bead of glue right along there. I get it laid down nice and straight. guys think there's the front and there's the back and we just got to figure out what else I'm gonna do with that okay tomorrow that is it for today I don't want to get started let me give you a little peek though I have this um, doily it's just a little bit larger than the cover and that's fine. I want it to hang over and drape over each of the ends, the flaps, and it's going to hang down a little bit. And that's why I intentionally have some ruffles um, for here. So it's going to be just enough, as you can see, hang over just enough. And then I'm going to go over it, I think, with some of this prettiness here, followed with a nice pink ribbon tie closure 
and yeah so that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow we're going to get the front on okay look at that how pretty how pretty i really like it okay guys well thank you that's going to be it for today we are all caught up with that we'll work on the outer cover and then finishing touches on tags and stuff for the inside and that's going to be done thank you so very much for your time guys god bless Bye-bye.